So think about this. Now, what <clears throat> what do I mean when I say that? Well, we already knew right here was the break. And if you're on the two-minute EWO, looks like your entry was either here or here. So either way, regardless, two-minute scalp doesn't matter. You were in the same trade, and you should have left it the hell alone. Now, if you're a scalper, doesn't your stop go above 160? Yep. Yes, sir. Okay, so there's your stop. If you're a two-minute EWO, what should the stop be set at? 25 to 40%. There you go. So I know this never, ever came back at any point during any of that. You would have rode this all the way down. And some of you keep saying you're getting stopped out. We got to stop doing that. I, I need you to practice this and stop getting stopped out. This shouldn't have stopped you out. This shouldn't have stopped you out. The only time when you had to start making a decision is because it just never came back. But you could, I mean, you had, you had an hour to figure this out, right? <laughs> a whole hour. Look at this thing, right? Warning signs were there. You can see it was moving nicely right here was when it first started to pull back. This was all a questionable area. But if you bought it up here at 160 and you had even, think about it. Even if you made the decision here, what is this? One, I can't see it, 155? I mean, even if you waited till here, right? Like, you guys are getting heavy on the scalp, right? And then when it does any type of move, because you're so heavy, you get stopped out, right?